That's Michael. Quick tip for today is the D C sharp trick, which is just that you leave the right hand on the keys when you play the C sharp, and that is good in some passages. You can't do it with C two, but the C will sound less good when you play with the right hand on, like. Sounds more open without the right hand on. But the C sharp is not like that. You, it C sharp actually sounds more open or I think it's a better sound with the, with the right hand on. It's more focused in some way. And also when you have a quick passage where you move the hand, I mean the flute will be a bit more stable if you leave the right hand on. We have some passages like the, um, the Carmen Fantasy the second variation of the habanero is this one that plays like like this. Also there is in the Russian dance and the curler and romantic studies you have this chromatic passage like this. In this passage I'll leave the right hand on. Sounds better even I think and it facilitates this passage. You also have the, uh, I think it's the first fantasy by Telemann which there is a passage in the first page, I think. Come closer. You see? So there I leave the right hand on too. Uh, I usually slur this passage. I think in baroque music you often do that when you have the when you have a leading note, you often slur them like this. Okay, that are some examples where I leave the right hand on the keys when I play the C sharp. Okay, so if you find some passage you play, try to use it. It's not cheating. It's actually a, just a different fingering which makes it easier, it facilitates playing the passage and it often sounds better. So why not do it? See you next time.